I'm going to map a MIDI controller to launch scenes in Ableton. I have an Ableton session open and I'm in a session view. If I click over here on this uh, MIDI map mode switch or just alternatively choose Command M from my Mac keyboard, it switches Ableton over into a mapping mode. You can see the change of colors and the features. And if you select one of the features, in this case, I'm going to select the launch button, which is this triangle down here. If I select it, it's waiting now for some uh, MIDI input to come in, and it will teach itself to now always use that MIDI source to push that button. So I have a MIDI keyboard here, and I'm just going to press any key. I'll just press this note C on it, and you'll see on the screen that that launch button just changed. It registered that I pressed that number. You'll also notice over here in the list of uh, mappings that that's now registered. Note C2 is mapped to scene launch. So I can just hit Command M again or click the MIDI button. And now I'm back into the regular mode. If I have a scene selected, like I just selected scene number two now, and I press that MIDI device, it will launch the scene. I don't have any clips in this scene, but you will see uh, it will register that it launched it. And again, now it's, it's advanced because of my preferences. It's advanced to scene three is the one that's selected. So now I'll just hit the same note again, and it'll launch scene three, which also has nothing in it. If there were clips in those scenes, they would play. If you want to remove a mapping, go back into MIDI mapping mode. You'll see the list in the browser. I've selected the one mapping that I made, and I'll hit the delete key on my Mac keyboard. And then go back into the regular mode.